What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, the Hot Commodity Ant C, and today we are jumping into our time machine to cover more episodes of the Attitude Era, the Attitude Years. We're covering WWE Raw is War from February 15th, 1999, a night removed from St. Valentine's Day Massacre in your house. And we start out with the WWE Commissioner, Shawn Michaels, coming out to the ring. And he wants Stone Cold Steve Austin and the WWE Champion Mankind to come out. So they do. And he's excited for WrestleMania 15. And then Vince McMahon comes out wearing a neck brace. And he's got, you know, like a bandaid on his head, a bandage on his head. And Vince wants a fresh start with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he'll get this fresh start with Austin as long as Austin apologizes for everything he has done. Uh, Austin apologizes for not beating Vince's ass more. So that's what he gets. Um and then The Rock comes out and he challenges Mankind to a rematch. He knows that man that was a draw. Nobody really lost the match. They both, uh, you know, it was a draw, so nobody won. So Vin, Rock doesn't believe he really lost the title. Rock challenges Mankind to a match. Mankind accepts, and then Vince McMahon makes this a ladder match because that is Shawn Michaels' special match. And then he introduces Paul White, who comes out, and he, Vince says that Paul White will main event, will referee the main event of WrestleMania 15 between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, or Mankind and Stone Cold Steve Austin, depending on who wins the latter match. Our first match of the night, we have Deborah and Jeff Jarrett taking on Ivory and D'Lo Brown, and Ivory and D'Lo get the win by DQ after Deborah nails Ivory in the back with a guitar shot. Nice move there by Deborah. Uh, we then see Paul White shaking hands and hugging the corporation members backstage. Triple H and X Pac then come out. Triple H wants a rematch from last night against Kane and China. That's when Shane McMahon and China come out, and he says that China's not going to compete because she already pinned Triple H. And X Pac says, Why don't we trade a bitch for another bitch? Why don't you compete, Shane? Team up with Kane against us. Shane agrees only if X Pac will put his European title on the line, and X Pac agrees. Next, we have the Intercontinental Championship on the line. The Intercontinental Champion Val Venus with Ryan Shamrock taking on Billy Gunn. During the match, Billy accidentally pushes Ryan off the apron. That distracts Billy as he tries to check on her, and Val Venus rolls up Billy to get the win. After the match, Val Venus breaks up with Ryan Shermock and tells her to hit the bricks. We then see Ken Shermock attacking Billy Gunn backstage after Billy tries to console Ryan Shamrock. The Ministry of Darkness come out next, and Undertaker says that he owns the key to Vince McMahon's heart and soul. He has a greater power running the ministry, and the greater power will own the WWE. That's when the big boss man comes out, and he says that's not going to happen. Let's have a six-man match. Undertaker agrees. Next, we have a tag match for the European Championship. The champion X-Pac and Triple H taking on Kane and Shane McMahon. During the match, China gives Shane McMahon the European title. Shane nails X-Pac with the title. Kane and Triple H fight outside. And while Triple H is outside, Shane McMahon pins X-Pac. And Shane McMahon is our new WWE European champion, of course, with the help of the European title. Next, we have the hardcore champion Bob Holly defeating Steve Blackman after draws nails Steve with a hockey stick backstage. After the match, Billy Bob Holly comes out and says that he had crappy partners and he's a real man and he's happy that he has a title. That's when Bart Gunn, his former former partner, comes out and uh, he basically tells Bob he wants a match and the two of them are going to fight next week. WWE Women's Champion Sable comes out next and announces that she will be on the cover of Playboy TV Guide magazine. She has an appearance with Regis and Kathy Lee coming up, and everybody wants a piece of Sable. Everyone wants her. That's when the fan Tori comes into the ring, and Sable tells the bouncer to let her in. It's okay. And Tori says that she loves Sable and looks up to her and admires her. Sable calls Tori a wannabe and kicks her out of the ring. What a nice way to treat your fans there by Sable. Next, we have the big boss man, Ken Shinrock and Tess, taking on Midian and the Alkalites. During the match, the Ministry of Darkness abduct Shane. And on the, the stage, they bring Shane out. And Undertaker holds Shane by the chest and tells Shane that I have a letter that you have to give to your father from the Lord of Darkness. What is in this letter? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. 
And we have our main event, the WWE Championship ladder match, the champion Mankind defending against The Rock. During the match, Paul White comes out and choke slams Mankind off the top of the ladder. The Rock climbs up and grabs the title, and The Rock is now a three-time WWE champion, of course, after the help from Paul White. So now we know it will be The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 15. After the match, Stone Cold Steve Austin nails The Rock with a stunner. And that is it to end this episode of Raw is War. We're on the road to WrestleMania. Storylines are building. Paul White is in WWE now. A lot is happening. So we want to make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell on YouTube to stay notified when new content is created. Leave a comment on Spotify or YouTube and let us know what were your thoughts on this episode of Raw. Did you like it? Are you happy that Paul White showed up in WWE? Let me know in the comments. With that, stay safe and stay uncensored.